So here's an economizer repair video. It's, it's pretty common. Uh, I've run into this style before. You've got your uh, outside air and your return air linked with a rod. And you've got these little crank arm guys. And these super old actuators uh, were mounted to this old bracket. And the new style is different. So the old style has four holes and it was bolted in to these four holes and uh, they use a crank arm and you see how that that crank arm looks kind of like a castle i call i call that a castle nut because in automotive that's castle nut looks like that so i call that a castle nut but belimo makes two styles they make the style with the splines which is the afb style and they make the style with the castle nut so I think the uh, this is like a KHAF or even an NF, right? So they, they're the same thing, KHAF. And then the spline style crank arm is uh, KHAFB. So first of all, this crank arm not compatible, and there's no way even if I got even if I got the new actuator to bolt into these holes, which could be possible. I didn't check it out, but um, I still wouldn't have been able to use this crank arm because so the crank arm connected like this was slid over here and crank arm connected here you know push rod the two crank arms connect together with a push rod so but I've, I've dealt with this style before and all you have to do is uh, it's just kind of a direct couple like a direct mount onto the shaft so you can take out it's like a little insert that goes right here um, to make it smaller, right? So you have like a half, it can fit a half inch pipe or it can fit three quarter inch or something. So whatever this thing is, it's probably three quarter. Um, so you just take that insert out. You have to take the U-bolt out, take out this little black retainer guy, and then you can take that, that uh, adapter spacer thing out and then it'll fit on this big pipe. So you just take your extension and your 5 sixteenths on your drill and you loosen these up you got to take a pair of pliers and get the uh, clamp off and then uh, this comes off and then you get the other clamp off. They're kind of a pain. They really are kind of a pain, but you can do it. And then you slide your actuator on and make yourself a little bracket with the one that's included, the anti-rotation bracket. Make sure you get two screws so it does not rotate. And then you put that back together. Now the other thing you want to remember is you want the uh, spring return to spring return with with the return grill open you don't want the outside air open all the time just for fun so um, pay attention to how it's how you're mounting it um, if i were to slide this off turn it around to where the the gray side was over here then it would be clockwise spring return right so yep just pay attention for that and then hooked it right in, power common signal, and uh, it was a piece of cake.